The figure below shows two triangles ABC and PCD with a common base PC. PC is 3, 4. AC is this. CD is 7.5 and the angle this one is 90. The area of triangle ABC is equal to the area of triangle PCD. That is the most important thing here. Area of ABC is equal to the area of BCD. Hapa tu kuna triangle mbili, unaona area ya hii na hii. Lakini tukiangalia triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle, tukuna AC, tukuna hypotenuse, tukuna base. Now we can get the height using Pythagoras theorem. So hapo ndio tunanza. A C square minus B C square will give us A B square when we subtract. Because this hypotenuse minus base it will give us this. So 7.5.2 square minus 3.4 square will be A B squared. So this one will give us 51.84 minus 11.56 and this one will give us 40.28. But we want AB so we find the square root and this one will give us 6.321 decimal places. So our height AB, our height AB is 6.3 centimeters now what do we do with that height this height is going to give us the area of abc we know area of a triangle is a half base times height so we have a half times the base is 3.4 3.4 times the height we have calculated is 6.3 now here to pair 10.7 centimeters square so, to me part of the area of ABC. Very good. Now, we go to the next question. Our three marks is already obtained. Calculate the size of angle ABCD. Angle BCD. Calculate the angle, the size of angle BCD. BCD. So, we want to calculate angle BCD. We want this angle here this angle theta here. So let us extract this triangle. Now, we have extracted triangle BCD. This one is D, this one is B, and this is C. Tunajua hivo. Lakini kitu tunajua ni kwamba area of A, B, C is equal to the area of B, C, D. Iyo do tunajua. Na hii triangle AD, BCD tumepewa two sides. Na tumepewa angle between them. So, so tunajua kutafuta hii area. Tunatua, tunatua, how do we find the area of a triangle? Kuna njia tatu. Kuna hile formula ya Ironis formula. Kuna half base time side. Na kuna half side time side. Sine eh, theta. So if I use that one. The area of AB. So area of B, C, D is equal to a half side times side sine theta because this side, this side and then this angle between them. So area will be 1 over 2 times this 3.4 times this 7.5 uh, then sine theta. We don't have the theta here, this angle. Lakini tunajua kwamba this area will be equal to the area of the other triangle ABC, which is equal to 10.7 centimeters square. So, so, we calculate everything here. We are going to have 12.75. Everything here, sine theta, is equal to 10.7. Tunataka theta, remember we are looking for the size of the angle C, theta. So we can divide by here 12.75 to toy here upper, divide by 12.75. Here in Aisha, tunabaki na sine theta is equal to, you divide by this using your calculator, you find it is 0, 
point eighty three nine two. Lakini tunataka theta. How do you get theta from here? You find the sine inverse. So theta is equal to sine inverse zero point zero point eight three nine five. Mm. Kutafuta sine inverse unafinya shift sine and then unaweka hii number. Shift sine alafu itakupea hii. So ukifinya hapo inakuletea theta is equal to 57.1 degrees. Lakini wewe ukitumia macho yako vizuri hii hanko iwezi kuwa less than 90. This is an obtuse angle. Kwa hivyo the angle here is the obtuse of this angle. So our correct theta is equal to 180 minus 57.1 the obtuse and that one will give us 122.9 degrees so the angle bcd is the obtuse of this angle na ni 122. So vitu zingine hapa sasa ndio unafaa utumie uh, the knowledge you have gathered since types of uh, triangles angles acute angle obtuse angle leaflex angle So hiyo ni knowledge nafaa uitumie hapa. Very nice. Sasa tumepata angle na the next thing tunatafuta ni length BD. We want the length BD. So B remember the sine rule and the cosine rule lazima ujue hizo formula. So D this one from BC we will have small d. The opposite of B is this one so we will have small b here and C is here. So we are going to calculate now the length PC which is C. We know that C square is equal to D square plus B square minus 2 BD cos C cos capital C. Hiyo formula sima this is the cosine uh, rule the cosine rule. So C square is going to be D square D is 3 0.4 square plus b 7.5 7.5 square minus 2 times 3.4 times 7.5 cos tuko nayo cos c ni 122.9 ah uh, this is the same as 67.81 into 51 this times c times this will give you 51 cos 122.9 This will be the same as 67.81 oh, sorry there was a subtraction here minus here so minus into minus whatever is coming is a subtraction which is 27.7 a negative times a negative is going to be positive so we will have 67.81 plus 27.7 and this one will give us 95.51 so c square is equal to 95.5 but tunataka c attack c square so we find the square root both sides and the c is equal to 9.8 cm 9.8 cm finally the size of bdc we want the size of b DC. We want the size of B. D. So we want this angle here. We want this angle here. Alpha. How do we get angle? There the angle. We will use now the sine rule. The sine rule says that. So let me sketch this here. Now we want to get this angle here. This angle. But we know the sine rule. The sine rule says that d, we can say d over sine d, this d, will be equal to, we can use c which has an angle, c over sine c. Right? So d we have, that is 3.4 divided by sine d, we are looking for d is equal to c c we have obtained the c dpc that is 9.8 divided by the sine sine 
122.9. That one will give us the same thing. So we multiply, cross multiply. We will have 9.8 sine D will be equal to 3.4 sine 122.9. You cross multiply. We want the D so we can divide it by both sides by 9.8. Divide it by 9.8. So sine D is equal to 0 0.29313. So if you calculator, you will get this one. Like you need to not D, I to take sine D. So we want D. D is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.2913. And D, it appears 16.9 degrees.